Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be opening up Generation 3, some of the dolls and the coffin bean. So I was able to get my hands on Cleo, Laguna, Do, Straculora, and Gulia, and then the coffin bean set. Let's get opening them. So here are the dolls. Here we have Cleo, Laguna, Deuce, Draculaura, and Gulia, and then we have the coffin bean set. I got Deuce on Amazon. I got the rest of them from Target because Target was is having the $25 off of $100 on the toys, and I was so happy that they were included in it. So I basically got one of them for free because I ordered Gulia separate. I ordered Draculaura, the coffin bean, and Laguna, and Cleo in a different order. Um, and then I also wanted to show you guys. I got the Monster High and Maisie Willem earrings. They're pretty cool. Um, I got them because I wanted them to put on display mostly. What they look like, they're kind of plasticky, but they're like really heavy. I think they're really cute, especially if you did a Frankenstein cosplay or just like a Halloween costume. I mean, I don't know if they were worth $50, but I just wanted to show you guys that as well. Sorry for the like weird setup. I just have this piece of wood that I use to put my paintings on, like tape them down. The first doll we're going to be looking at is Laguna Blue. This is the box. It's like, these boxes remind me kind of of the Boo York boxes, just the tiniest bit. I think it's just because of this middle section. I don't really understand, like, what's the correlation with the box and, like, the brand, but, I mean, it's not the worst box either. Um, so right here is the Monster High, and then we have a cute little art piece that has Claudine, Laguna, and Frankie. It says Laguna Blue. We can see the doll, pardon the glare. And then we have little Neptuna down at the bottom. It says Monster High on the side. And then here we have the back art. We have Laguna here again with Neptuna, and then just tells a little bit about herself, that she's a sea monster, and her pet's Neptuna. Her monster must-has is a shell phone and kelp crisps. And then here we have some art of Cleo, Frankie, Dracula, Laura, and Claudine. Here is the first doll. We have Laguna Blue. I put her on a rainbow high stand because I couldn't fit her on um, any of the old monster high stands. I saw like a little hack where you could take the old monster high stands and put it on around their thigh but um mine don't push down that easy and i don't want to break it of course now she has pink skin and now she has this little fade like the ghost had in generation one i really like it it's super cool but people have been telling me that they have had the paint chip on the pink part so i'm a little nervous about that i've been trying to keep it pretty pretty safe to start off with her makeup, she doesn't really look like she's wearing any makeup. She does have this dotted fish scale pattern on her forehead. It's a little bit wonky. I'm not sure if you guys can really tell. Um, it looks like it was kind of quickly put on, but it is made in a factory, so I understand. She doesn't seem to really be wearing any eyeshadow. It mostly just looks like some more dots around her eyes that kind of blend in with her freckles. And she's just wearing a pink lip. Her hair is multicolored. Okay, she has a bit of box hair right now and it needs to be restyled. But we see we have blonde on top and then we have a purple and a like a blue teal on the bottom. She has a blue fishbone earring in one ear and then just a stud in the other. And then on top of her hair she has these two white barrettes. And then her ponytail is like a little plastic. It looks maybe like sea urchins or sea coral of some sort. She really gives me Visco Girl vibes, <laughs> even though she's not wearing like a big baggy t-shirt. It just really reminds me of like the summer of 2019. It's definitely that aesthetic for me. Um, she's wearing like a crop top hoodie that has a little um, seahorse skeleton on it. It's pink. The sleeves are mesh with black trim and lines going to the back. And then in the back, she also has a little hoodie. Um, her hoodie is fish scaled and it has a little nod to her original hoodie with these little tie-dye fins that come off. She is wearing a fanny pack that looks like um like the shark teeth and it's a teal color. And then her shorts are this tie-dye rainbow. They're kind of spandex um, fabric and they have ruffles on the side. Her shoes are really cute sandals, wedge sandals. They have fins going up on them and the straps say monster in black. The straps are also pink and then the platform on it is this like kind of teal blue. And here are her new fins. I do not know if they're removable. They are not. I love that. 
because I used to lose the Laguna fins all the time. And then here are her arm fins as well. She has molded scaling on her arms and then the molded in fins. I do wish the top fins were similar to the bottom fins, but I understand why they can't do that. She also has fins for ears. They're really cute. I really love this new generation and how the ears kind of stick out more. I like that it's more of a prominent feature on the molding. And now onto her accessories. She comes with her little bathing suit. It's black and a teal shimmer that is fish scales and ruffle edging is an orange color. This is her pet Neptuna. She is giving me Barbie mermaid vibes for some reason. I really like the pets. I don't really think that these pets match the aesthetic it, but I still think they're cute. I really like that Neptuna, she can stand on her own. They're thin, super cute. I do wish she had her little like piranha teeth. I think that would also be very cute. And then she has a pair of blue sunglasses that have like little fish. I know, wait, I think they're fish scales, like the fins. They're just a clear blue. She comes with a she seashell backpack. This is so cute. It's pink and then it has teal straps and it looks like it's like dripping at the bottom but the cool thing about these is that though they're stiff rubber they can open so you could put all of her accessories in there and then she comes with her shell phone it's just the same color as the backpack kind of a hot pink color i really adore the, the sticker they put on it to make it look like a like a real phone and then for snacks she comes with kelp crisps and then it looks like to be a sort of goldfish piranhas, like piranhas, like almost goldfish. But this is so cool. There's original Neptuna on this carton. Oh my gosh. And then last but not least, she comes with a little water bottle. I think this is also what makes me think, reminds me of a Visco girl because of like the hydro flasks. But I really like this water bottle. I think it's super cute. It's blue and it's studded and the top is black and it looks like a whale fin. And the really cool thing is, is that the top can come off. The next doll we're going to be looking at is Cleo Denial. I'm so excited for this doll. I really, really love Cleo in the new series. I love her outfit. I'm not a really big fan of her boots, but I feel like most people aren't. But I also don't think they're the worst boots ever. Um, but here's the box. It says Monster High here again. We have her art with her custom little name tag. And then down here we see we have her pet tot and her accessories. And then here it's the back. Cleo. It says Cleo Denial. She's a royal mummy. Her monster monster must-haves are a sarcophagus and a pyramid backpack and her monster pet is Tut. And then over here we have Laguna, Frankie, Dracula, and Claudine. So let's open her up. The next doll we have is Cleo Denial. She is super pretty. I love how long they made her hair. Her hair is a dark blue with light blue highlights and it has gold tinsel in it bit of a side part going on. I really, really like it. It's like more like side sweat, I guess. And then she is wearing this headband that has kind of like a fan or like a bird wing. I'm not quite sure what it is. It is gold and it has teal accents on it. Her makeup is kind of neutral. It has a bit of brown, blue, and like a yellow. And then she has quite the bit of eyeliner. I really love her eyeliner. And then she is wearing this neck plate necklace thing. It has really nice painted details on it with teal feathering on the outside with a blue stone in the middle and then orange around it and then another stone hanging down. The outfit is super cute. I like it. She has wraps going down her arm and then she has this like hieroglyph kind of print on one side and it's asymmetrical so on the other side it's just a simple blue. She's also wearing a belt. It has quite a bit of painted details on it. It has some chains hanging down. They more look like beads, I guess. And then she has like an eyeball in the middle of the belt. And then for her shoes, they're just a pair of boots that I think are meant to be like wraps, but they don't really come across that way to me. But it has orange and blue on the toe with, with gold heels. And also it has gold detailing going up the middle of the boot. And now for her accessories, she has her pet Tut blue and he's wearing like the little um, pharaoh type headdress with a necklace. He's a very metallic shiny blue. Has a pair of sunglasses as well and they are yellow but I swear to god, Bloom Beach Cleo has these same exact glasses but green. I'm gonna insert a picture onto the side right there because I, I looked at these and the moment I saw them I'm like these are literally Gloom Beach. 
and then she has her sarcophagus little i say it's like a water bottle the top is the head of anubis and that's who i believe that is because if it's a dog it's anubis right or maybe i'm wrong the bottom is gold with wraps be held by the hand and then this part can be held by the finger because you can knit up here's the other piece her snack of choice is a mummy wrap thing or a wrap I don't remember what she called it, but it looks good. I'd eat that. And then she also comes with a makeup palette. This was impossible for me to open. Literally impossible. It is a teal diamond with a teal green. Jade, maybe, is a good way to describe it. It's just a little makeup palette, but it was impossible for me to open. I had to have my boyfriend open it, but now we're going to close it. So, And then she has her eye coffin, and it just has like a, a little guy on the back. Let me know, is this... Like Anubis because I don't know if you guys ever watched that show House of Anubis but every time I see like a dog I think of Anubis like god Anubis I, I don't know so I'm probably totally wrong let me know down in the comments she also comes with this jacket that has um fringe coming down it it's it's tan and then it has blue detailing on it that makes it look like wraps I really like this coat I think this is a really cute and last but not least we have her pyramid backpack it is gold with studs on the edges it looks like there's some molded wrapping on it and then we have three little beetles and it opens up I really like her bag too I love that they come with backpacks I think that's so cool on to the next stop the next doll we are going to be looking at is Deuce Gorgon. I'm pretty excited about this doll too. I'm really excited for his little pet Perseus um, and all of his cute little accessories. Here it says Monster High and then we have him, his little art and his. I really like that they gave them like custom, I wouldn't say logos, but custom name designs. I think that's super cool. It says Deuce Gorgon. Here we have the back art. I think Deuce's art is one of my favorites overall compared to the others. And then it says he's the ghoulest Gorgon. Um, his monster must-haves are sunglasses and snake hair wax and his monster pet is Perseus. And then here we have all the other characters let's open him up so here is deuce um he basically looks exactly the same as spirit deuce here is cool spirit deuce they are identical the only difference is that cool spirit deuce has the little like football marks or whatever he just has his green snakes on his head and then no makeup nothing like that but his coat is snake print, and then on this arm, he has a little orange snake kind of going down it. I, I understand the whole snake theme, just think they've overdone it, just a cement with the snakes. I, I get it. Don't get me wrong, I don't think his outfit's like horrible, I just think maybe it's a little too much with the snakes. I, I like the original Deuce in the sense they kind of gave him more like punk look, and then he has all these little sewn pockets and this is great detailing. It feels kind of like jean or like a canvas, which I love. I love all the seams and everything like that. He's wearing a tank top underneath that's like an ash gray and black with just a purple snake with its mouth open. It's super simple. Um, and then for his pants, he is wearing just black pants. They're kind of like um, a athletic stretchy fabric. We have a purple snake going down this leg with um, the snake print going down the sides and then I really like his shoes though. His shoes are just a pair of tennis shoes and they look like little snake, little snake eyes. It's so cute and little snake teeth. He comes with his backpack. I really like this backpack because it's like one of those like side backpacks so you can wear in the front or you can wear in the back. I think that's so cool. It's purple and then it has like a snake, green snake on it. It also opens, this one's a bit stiffer to open. It's kind of harder, you gotta kind of squeeze it. And then he comes with his pet Perseus. I really, really like this Perseus, he's so cute. Oh my goodness, and he can move his arms. That is, that is adorable. And then he comes with his eye coffin. His eye coffin is super cool. I love that they're all personalized to each character. It just has a little snake on the back and it's green. Also comes with sunglasses, but I cannot, for the life of me, get them on him. It's like I want it to be tucked behind his ear that are hidden by the snakes, but it keeps getting caught and stuck and it won't let me. Anybody else is having this problem, but it's driving me insane. They're just black and then they have little like snakes at the arm of the glasses. He comes with his water bottle and I believe that's supposed to be like Medusa on it, like his mom. And then it's white with green detailing and then of course the Medusa face is painted. This one does not open. I cannot open this one. He comes with this little like hair wax or snake wax. This is super cool. Super tiny, cute detail. 
And then he comes with a tiny cupcake, and the cupcake frosting looks like a little snake. And I just, oh, I couldn't. I thought this was so adorable. And last but not least, we have Deuce's apron. He works at the Coffin Bean now, so he gets his little apron, and I can't wait to get the two-pack of Frankie and Deuce. I think Frankie looks so good in that pack. That's Deuce. Let's move on to Draculaura. Up next, we have Draculaura. She is super duper cute. This little SPF 500 reminds me of the one she got with Gloom Beach. I wonder if it's the same, but again, it says Monster High here. We have the art, it says Draculaura, and then we have her little Count Fabulous pet back. We see her art, and then it says Draculaura, and that her monster, she's a fantastic vampire. Monster must-haves are SPF 500 and Cherry Juice, and her monster pet is Count Fabulous. And then we have all the other characters on the back as well. So next we have Draculaura, who is one of my favorites. Um, I do have a lot to say about this doll though, at least fashion-wise really do like the doll, but I'm not a big fan of the headband. I wish they would have gave us that little hat that we saw in the cartoon that's going to be on Nickelodeon. Like the Lydia hat from the Beetlejuice dolls, like that would have been cuter than this headband. I just think the headband's a bit bulky and I just don't feel like it really matches the rest of the outfit, at least in my opinion of course. And I also am not a fan of the shorts. I really love the top, I love all of that, I love the stockings and the shoes, but the shorts just kind of feel out of place to me. I, I get what they were going for, really, I get it, but just personally I would have not put that with the outfit. I think I'm gonna restyle Draculaura's hair. I think I'm gonna restyle a couple of their hairs because I don't really like what they did. I do love that it's nice and long and it's split. I think that's so cute. Looking at the doll, she just has a pink headband with a black little heart bat thing on it. Her makeup is pretty simple. We can really see that in this new generation that they're not really going very heavy on the makeup anymore, which I mean, it makes sense, but I do think it's fun to see all the different, you know, eyeshadows and stuff like that. She just has a really, really light pink eyeshadow, and then she has just a light pink lip. Her earrings are, one's black and one's pink, it's the opposite of her hair. And then for her top, she has this like big bat bow, like bow tie thing, I think it's super cute. And then she has a white necklace underneath, it just looks like a little pendant. Um, and then that she has a sheer top with a vest over top it. I think it's supposed to be like a corset type thing. And it's patterned and I love the detailed stitching on it. It's so cute. She has a tiny little ring right here. It's absolutely adorable. And then as we can see, her shorts are just this black print and then white printed shorts. It has her little heart on it. You know how like every character has a heart. It's her heart in a version of white with her little fangs on it. And then for her shoes, she's wearing these black sock stocking type things, and then her shoes are pink with another heart bat like across it for the straps. She comes with a little cape. I really like this cape. It reminds me of the fabric that they used on the Sweet 1600 Draculaura's dress. Um, they cut it so it's like, you know, kind of angled at the bottom, super cute. It's black with pink metallic patterning on it. She also comes with this SPF 500, which I also think was part of the Gloom Beach line. Super cute. Um, here is her eye coffin. It is just pink. It has a little bat and a heart on it. I love that each of the dolls come with their own little snack. I think that's so cute that she has a little bat pretzel. It has little eyeballs and it, they are two pieces. And then she has her own little pair of sunglasses. I really like these ones. I think they're super cute. Comes with a cherry smoothie or slushy. I don't, I don't remember what the box said, but this is so fun and oversized. I love it. And then here we have her backpack. Her backpack is adorable. I would love this backpack or just like as a purse, like a side purse, satchel purse. That'd be absolutely adorable. I do believe this one opens as well, but it's a bit hard for me to open them. And it's just pink with black, black bat wings. And then we have Count Fabulous. Count Fabulous is probably my favorite pet. This one is, he's just so cute. I love him so much. And on to my final doll. Last but not least for the dolls, we have Gulia Yelps. I know Gulia Yelps is quite a bit controversial for most people. A lot of people don't really like her. They don't really like her design. I think the only thing I don't really like about her design, or at least the doll, is her glasses. I don't, I wish they were clear. The version of Gulia's. I think them being kind of that opaque 
halfway clear stuff. It makes it kind of off. I kind of like that they made her a little nerdy gamer. I think that's super cool. The box, we have this sticker and it says we're donating $1 to do something.org every time someone buys a Gulia Yelp doll. It says Monster High. And we have the Gulia Yelps, um, her little name, and then her art. And Sir Hoots a lot. Super cute. And then here is her art. This Gulia Yelps. And it says Monster Type, totally brainy zombie. Monster must have skateboard and brain puffs. And her monster pet is Sir Hoots a lot. And then here we have the art as well. So here is the final doll, Gulia Yelps. I really like the new Gulia. I think it's super fun that she's kind of like skatery now, skatery gamer. Um, I don't really have many complaints about the doll. I do really, I'm not a big fan of the glasses. I think that's my biggest like thing I'm not really like in love with. Um, I think I said this when I was looking at the box, or when I was showing the box. I wish that it was clear like original Gulia, like this part was completely 100% clear because I feel like it just like bogs up her face and she has such a beautiful face paint and mold. I just, I don't really like it. I do think it's a really fun detail that like the backs of it, the arms of the glasses are little bones. I think that's really cute. I do wish this was definitely clearer and not as, I don't know what the word is, op opaque or transparent. So. Here is the doll. She does come with this beanie and nor it does not come on her. It just came on the side, kind of like how um, everybody else had their accessory. But her hair is this beautiful, like, dark blue and her skin is now like a green, kind of like a Frankenstein green. I'm not bothered by it. Of course, I do miss the original Gulia, but I understand this is, in my mind, alternate reality. So, I'm not, I'm not too upset. I really love her earrings. They're little gravestones that say rest in peace and they're silver gray. Same thing. Her makeup is super simple. It's a very light green with a light pink on top by the brow bone. She just has a pink lip. Her hat is just a little gray beanie. It has a little brain on it. It's super cute. For her outfit, the coat is like a brain pattern and it's black and white and it has these sh like ribbon and it's like on the side of the arm and it says brains. And then her shirt is black and it has a little brain. I think her fake pleather skirt is so cool. I really like the drips on it and it even has like a little, it even has a little fake zipper that's green. And then it even has ribbon detailing along the waistband of the skirt that has little broken hearts on it. It's so cute. Here are her shoes. They're like a totally a, like a Doc Martin platform for a moment. They're silver with pink lace detailing and then the bottom of her shoes are black and it's green pattern. And now for her accessories, she comes with this little blue backpack that's kind of a similar color to her hair with a red zipper detailing. Her bag also opens. I love this feature. It's so cool. She comes with like a little knockoff switch. I think this is adorable. And it even has a little sticker on it of whatever she's playing. Very cute though. Then she comes with brain puffs. I had her brain puffs from her dead tired set. I don't know where they are. They're probably in storage, but it was like popcorn and not like a little Cheeto puffs. I think that's super cool though. And then she has her eye coffin and I heard somebody say that the, like it looked like ice cream to them and now I cannot unsee it, but it's just a pink, like a hot pink brain, kind of the same color of her skirt and then a green bottom and then of course her glasses again they're just pointed kind of like a more pointed take on her old cat eye glasses they're okay like i said i just wish they were clear and then we have sir hoots a lot i love him so much just as much as i love count fabulous these two are like so freaking cute and i feel like they're their own little figures like i said they're just a really fun take on the old pets that's cool yeah let's move on to the coffin bean set and last but not least we have the monster high coffin bean i never had the original monster high coffin bean but i did have the diner set i still have it it's just in storage but i'm really excited for this set actually i feel like it's the diner and the coffin bean and all of the little food sets kind of all mixed together and i feel like we get so many more cute accessories but this is what the front of the box looks like it shows us how we can open up this little like bakery oven um and then we have the characters down there and it says monster high the coffin bean at the bottom and then we just have a little picture of what the set looks like and then up at the top it says you can play with five ghouls and it says monster 
dry cotton bean back we just have it saying fang out with five pools and then we have claudine laguna Draculaura, cleo and frankie and there's not much else to it so let's open it up so here is the coffin bean set i couldn't fit it all in the school right now um and i'll show you guys it set up later like once i'm done filming on my shelf that way you guys can get a little bit of an idea so to start off we have this big section that is like basically the little barista bar i love the detailing on this set all the little stickers that they put on it and the coloring and all that i love the awning up here with this little logo super simple blacked counter lots of spider web detailing little like curves for the beams and then we have a menu over here and then down on the down here we just see the coffin bean logo as well it comes with a little register and it's green and then you can like self order or the dolls can type it in or whatever and then it also comes with this little cake and it has little eyeballs on the top and it's just teal with spider web detailing i love that it has a separate top so you can close the cake and then we get an extra little pet it's a crow with a little bow adorable and it can sit on this skull which i think is such a cool detail love that. and then if we turn this around it has lots of great storage in the back or display I mean these little cookie trays and stuff that you can put back here and then it comes with this like I don't know really what to call it it's like a display case but also like a oven rack cookie rack both of these open let me open them up really quick. it's almost like an oven like that's the best way I can describe it to you and it's purple and it just has these little green skeleton hand like handles but this is also a display case so you can display your cupcakes or whatever in it and then there's also this little pan with little like baked goods on it, it looks like little donuts a little croissant open up the bottom and we can slide the gray pan in there which i think is super cool it also comes with this little express latte machine thing i love the, the detailing on it the little drips the little bone handles that can actually move the little skelet buttons it's absolutely adorable you can even put the little lattes under there to make it look like you're actually doing it is super cute next it comes with this couch this couch definitely reminds me of the like chairs from the original coffin bean set but those are red this is so big i love this so much it's such a cute couch it'd be adorable in a monster high dollhouse i really like it it's just purple with black detailing on the back it comes with two little eyeball pillows you can put on the sides and that's how it kind of makes it look like a little mouth because it has little like teeth on the bottom if you guys can see those little teeth super cute we also get another pet it looks like a little cat of some sort it kind of reminds me of like a little ghost like from haunted it'd be super cool if the heads moved and then we also have a coffee table and it has little like i want to say chicken feet like dinosaur chicken feet um and then the top of it is like a clear green with a spider web detailing a tall table this one reminds me of the diner table they had a tall diner table um from the diner set but this one is clear on top i believe the one in the diner set is silver i do not remember this one's clear it has the monster high emblem on it it's like a pink red and then we have similar like detailing as the arms that hold up this and then we have some chairs that are like a blue and purple ombre that look like skeletons on the back like a rib cage and pelvic bone and then we have like a spine bone and then a little spiral up at the end and then we have for the accessories this little milkshake that's pink with i don't know black stuff and then a little eyeball we have two skeleton forks this is adorable two of the same to go coffee mugs that are just pink and green with a little skull and crossbone we have two similar lattes one's purple with black drink i don't know what it is and then one is like a magenta we have a piece of cake off of the big cake super cute and then we have three brain cupcakes one on a purple plate one on a blue and one on a green and then last but not least we have a little cookie tray with little coffin cookies so here are the dolls all set up inside the new coffin bean set i also forgot to mention that Julia does come with her little skateboard with dead fast on it it's super Super cool the wheels will work. Um, my shelf's a bit small so I wasn't really able to fit in the table and stands over there um, but I, I made it work I just shoved it in the corner and leaned Laguna up next to it I'm very very careful with her legs I'm very nervous to scratch them <laughs> we have Leo and Draculaura and then Du and Gulia over here so I hope you guys enjoyed that video thank you guys so much for watching sorry it's a bit long I know my videos are kind of long I hope to see you guys in my next video bye